the energy vibration reading for um, the um, hurt sign people. This is the full moon reading from the 15th of January until the 15th of February. I want to say thank you so much for being here. Thank you for being back. Thank you for the wonderful support. Share us, like these videos, please thumbs up. And um, this video is going to be at least 50 minutes long. So for the on demand deal, please connect with us on on demand. I want to say thank you very much for the support for all you air sign people, uh, heart sign people, my um, you Taurus, Virgo, and Capricorns. Thank you so very much for your support, your likes, and shares. Please remember to share, share, share these videos, and please remember to connect with us. Um, and check out the monthly reading for January and as the month and the quarter reading because that is going to be helping you guys okay so remember that the Sun sign people are the people who were born um, 5 o'clock in the morning until 5 p.m. in the uh, until 7 p.m. in the evening so if you were born 5 o'clock in the morning until 5 uh, 6 p.m. at evening you are a sun sign person if you were born 6 p.m. until um, 6 a.m. in the morning you are a moon sign person so thank you okay so let's see what's coming up for you air sign people remember that this reading is the first full moon of the year 2019 from the 15th of January until the 15th of February. So let's see what's coming out for the sun sign people first. You're going to be dealing with the Virgos and um, Uranus and um, the um, Venus. Wow. Okay. So, wow. Okay. I hope you guys can see that. Let's see what's coming out for the moon sign earth people. Moon sign earth people, you're dealing with the Librans. The Librans. The Librans. And the Capricorn comes up. Oh, 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 oh. Okay, what's happening? Okay, we have the Aries. Okay, so, oh my God. Alrighty, um, now this is a change of guard. Um, 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 so for you earth sign people, what is happening is that a lot of you are going to be dealing with um, Aries. Okay, not many, um, not many earth sign people, not many earth sign people have, um, not many earth sign people have something to do with um, the energy. So what is, what is going to be transparent, especially for the fire sign, earth sign people? You're dealing with the Virgos, which is good. So you Virgo fire sign people have to deal with the Aries and the Librans. Okay, so that that that's 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 kind of a scenario that is going to. So look into your life to find out if you were born 5 a.m. to um, 6 p.m. If you are a Virgo, you're going to be dealing with the Aries in your life and the Librans, okay? As we look at Uranus, Uranus have to do with the Aquarians who are going to be transforming in your life and coming in your life. So the Aquarians and the Sagittarius are going to be coming in your life. What is this connection, okay? And when we have love, a lot of you are going to be connected with the, the Capricorns, your own sister sign in love. It's as if you're going to be reconnecting um, with the Capricorns, okay? So um, this is basically good. Let me pull this up so you guys can see what is transpiring. Is that, um, is that you guys are going to be connecting with the Capricorns, okay? So... Um, obviously this is this whatever the situation is it's it's um it's very positive for you earth sign people because you're going to be re, re um, connecting with the Capricorns and this is really 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 good now for a lot of you you um, whether you are 
um, whether you are a, a sun sign person or a moon sign person you have to be you're going to be connecting with the Aries in so many different ways so whether you're a sun sign person or a moon sign person the energy of the Aries people is going to be affecting each and every one of you earth signs okay and um, it, it, it's going to be have a dramatic effect on the Virgos most of all and the Virgos are going to be connected so you could be in some lawsuit with the um, Aries okay some of you Virgos could be in a lawsuit with um, some Aries because the Librans are coming in to balance out the scale um, as we look at Uranus Uranus uh, coming in um, with the Sun the Sun and Uranus is um, this is like rooting up things that no longer serve you okay Uranus is um, with the Sun is like rooting up things that no longer serve you Uranus is coming in and the um, the, the, the 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 sign the zodiac sign that rules Uranus or work with Uranus it is the Aquarian so you Sun sign people um, the Sun met Uranus is your you uniqueness and expressions demands on outer now don't worry about what others say just be yourself okay so you um, Sun sign hurt sign people don't worry in this full moon month of what others are saying about you just be yourself just just be yourself whatever is happening just be yourself okay um and in love it's going to be good because a lot of you um sun sign um people are going to be connecting with reconnecting with the, with the, the capricorns in love okay is that you're going to be seeing some of you are going to be thinking i've been with every other zodiac sign um i'm going to try the capricorns i'm going to re, re um, connecting with the Capricorns that's what for you this is going to be coming out and this is going to be happening okay so whatever the situation is and that sort of a thing you're going to be seeing that you're going to be recapping with your own sister signs the Capricorn which is going to be good in love because it's as if Venus the planet of Venus is bringing um, back you guys to reconnect so that you can open up uh, um, the soulmate and the twin flame shift open up your eyes to the beauty that is within you your life is a work of heart and this is so powerful for you sun sign people as we look at the moon sign people some of you moon sign people have some legal issues um, and this legal issue could be with the Sagittarius of the Aries now these are fire signs that is coming in and whenever you there's legal issues and we're going to be seeing um, what is going to be transpiring with legal issues that you guys are coming in because you are not dealing you um, and thank God for that that you um, um, moon people are not dealing with any planetary aspect you're just dealing with individual um, zodiac signs and you're dealing with the Librans and the Sagittarians which this is an air um, fire and a hurt sign which is um, extremely good um, and this could be just people who are in conflicts and legal issue that is coming in for you guys so you know not to worry about that at least you're not dealing with um, Saturn okay so what is to inspiring um, with you guys um, dealing with um, these zodiac um, energy people the Sagittarians are always luck so whoever is dealing with the Sagittarius, they're going to be bringing luck in your life. The Capricorns are going to be bringing balance and um, spirituality, teaching you um, perseverance, basically. And um, if you're yourself is a Capricorn, you're going to be reconnecting with the other Earth signs uh, to be in harmony um, with yourself. Okay. Now, what is so very beautiful is that peace within relationships are going to be coming in and that is going to be um, very good for you earth signs finally um, some of you earth signs are going to be really really having um, peace within relationship because some of you really have been out and about in relationship looking for the right person and that situations okay now we are going to be seeing aspect of what is going to be transpiring aspect of what is going to be transpiring if I can find the cards 
<laughs> if I can find the rest of the cards. So let's see what is going to be affecting these earth sign people for this full moon. Let's see what's going to be happening for the sun people, for the full moon, for the hurt signs, all the hurt sign people that is happening. Okay, expansion is coming in for the Virgos. Mystery with the um the um the um Aquarians. Okay, what is happening for the moon? Earth sign people. What is happening for the moon? Earth sign people. Insecurity um, and service. The Capricorns are going to be coming in as service. Now, bittersweet is here. The energy of bittersweet is here and despondency. So some of you, um, bittersweet, it's going to be a bittersweet quarter. We can already see that energy that is coming in. There's going to be some bittersweet quarter. Um, some of you who are dealing um, with deliverance or um, dealing with a situation, insecurity, you need to release yourself of insecurity. That is what it's teaching you. Some mysteries is going to be coming through with Uranus so let's see impact um, expansion um, with um, um, expanding six of cups you're going to be reconnecting with your soul family that is so beautiful insecurity um, especially with the, the men new start with service um, so some deception is here bittersweet because some deception is here it has to do with the um, the Aries so some of you who are connected to Aries there is going to be a bittersweet deception situation with the Aries okay so be aware of that whatever is transpiring be aware of that um, you're being um, awakened now so for the moon people um, the Virgos the moon people the Virgos what is happening is that expansion is coming in so if you're in a relationship it doesn't have to be a relationship it could be in expansion for yourself that you're learning to align and you're more connecting with your spirit guides they're coming in to help you this is two of cups so you could be also deciding to open up your life to someone else in a relationship form um, you could um, be meeting someone or in a relationship with someone and it's going to make in the decision in this month or in this full moon um, in the, um, to um, expand your heart because um, Valentine's is coming up to expand your heart in a very positive way and this is going to be good so whatever the situation is and whatever that was transpiring Virgo um, you um, the Virgos could be coming in um, to help out the rest of you earth and to expand your heart within love and you could be reconnecting with your um, past life and your five side so this is um, very very good okay that's that's good so let's look for what else is happening for you moon sign Uranus is coming and mystery Uranus always bring mystery Uranus is going to reconnect you with your um, your spirit family okay your soul family Uranus is like um, your um, reconnecting with your um, um, your four parents, um, um, your 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 spirit guides, um, is going to be reconnecting you with your soul family, um, and this is going to be good because you can also understand call upon your uh, essential um ancestrals assess ancestrals so call upon your ancestrals in this time um, to reconnect with your ancestral and ask them to help you um, to move through these energies and it's going to be good for you moon people okay so um, let's um, see what is happening Venus in love a completion um, Venus in love especially for the young people between the ages of 18 and 45 you're going to be ending a relationship um, someone is going to be removed out of your life there could be a debt of a family member um, so um, this could be happening for um, some of you people um, uh, 18 between age of 18 and 45 a debt a transition could be coming for a family member and um, so be aware of this okay that is wonderful let's check look at the moon oh, the moon people that was the Sun people 
okay for the moon people you're dealing with Libra and you're dealing with insecurity and it's going to affect the men 45 years and older most of this is going to affect the men 45 years and older there is really some insecurity imbalance in your relationship so people 45 years and older you could be dealing with some insecurity relationship insecurity not opening up your heart to a relationship because uh, um, you are feeling very insecure you don't want to hope it up to, to art break so you have to be aware of this situation and understand the imbalances that is happening and it is a time where you're trying to protect your heart and that is only normal okay um, for the Sagittarius who are going to be coming in these Sagittarius are going to be helping you to bring balance and help you to make decision because these Sagittarius is going to be helping you with this separation okay and these Sagittarius are going to be um, helping you to make a decision a decision that needs to be made whether or not you want to make it these Sagittarius are coming in to help you to make this decision because this decision has to be made now the Capricorns are here going to help all of you guys in service okay so um, whoever it is um, <coughs> out there <coughs> my excuses the Capricorns are going to be start um, to do some new work in service and this is going to be helping a whole lot of people so the Capricorns you're going to be realizing that you're more um, connecting to Capricorn people looking for help um, with whatever your needs are in the sense of finding yourself you're going to be more uh, connecting to the Capricorn people because it's as if they speak to your soul and this is going to be good because Capricorns is going to be re um, reuniting the, the whole earth signs the Capricorns are going to be reuniting the whole earth signs and this is good and this is very positive so here you are seeing that the Capricorns are going to be coming in to revitalize and bring um, positive energies of service to the world and it's going to be helping you earth signs uh, to realign with who you are so this is going to be um, very very wonderful I want to say thank you and for the rest of the people who would like to see the extended of the reading and um, please come over um, to um, on demand and we are going to be going forward with this reading So we're back. Gotta get my sip on my throat because these are very long.